guys. Today I will be teaching you what you just saw on Final Cut Pro with no extra plugins or anything. So let's get right into it. So just to let you guys know, this is a pretty advanced tutorial. Um, so I've already gone and remapped the uh, speed for these transitions. So basically it goes up and then we're gonna Luma key that and then going into this shot and then going to this last shot, which zooms down into the hair. So first off, we're gonna start with this first clip and we're just gonna drag that over top. So basically it just comes here and then it pans to the sky and this is where we want it to do the transition. So go to your effects browser, type in Luma here, drag that onto the clip and Right now it's gonna look kind of weird. Drag this over. When it starts panning up, press the uh, keyframe here and then just drag that to about here where it's stopping at the top and you drag that to where it's open. And it's pretty instantaneous. So if you actually slow that down, what you can do is press Alt, hold Alt, and then drag up. So you have two. Unclick your Luma key effect. You go to where you want this transition to start. Cut this with Command B. Go over to your effects, do a little cross dissolve transition, and that will do a nicer Luma key transition. And then you can just highlight both of those and create new compound clip. You can name it something if you want. I didn't because I don't want to. In my, uh, in my transition, I actually zoomed in. So we're gonna go to this first segment where it starts coming in. Press the transform button, the keyframe button that up there at the top. And we're just gonna go into it and zoom in to where this is pretty much completely out of frame. And you can kind of play with it to make it um, a little bit smoother or whatever, but just for this tutorial, we're gonna make it a little quick. Okay, so this is probably the most difficult part to hide this section. So I'm gonna press V on the keyboard that just hides it, doesn't get rid of it. So this la next section is gonna take the most amount of time. It's not too difficult. You're gonna type in draw mask. And I used 4K footage for this transition actually. So it makes it a lot easier to actually work with. When he takes that, that that's him actually pressing the shutter button, that's why it blacks out. So that's where I want it to kind of transform to this other clip that's gonna be underneath here. So I'm going to drag this over and make it so his face is an in frame. So we're gonna start right there because it's still white. So basically you're just gonna want to zoom in here Put your draw mask, select it, and then just get the edges of this mask here, or edges of the screen. Zoom in to get the, uh, the best framing as possible. And then go ahead and press original so you can see everything. Select control points, keyframe, and make sure all these are selected because many times I've forgotten these and I've literally gone and done all these keyframes and forgotten about it. Starting from the starting point, you're just gonna wanna go with the arrow key over maybe three frames. You're just gonna drag this out, keeping it on the edge. If, you're, um, if your thing is actually too hard to see, you can always go to the coloring panel and just bring up the exposure. It's not gonna look like that at the end, but it just makes it a lot easier to uh, see the border. So we have this tracked now. It's kind of a rough track, but it will do. We're just gonna add this back onto the thing. 
And next step is we're gonna drag this underneath and press composite, hold this down, hold alt down again, the alt key on your keyboard or just copy and paste and you can drag it underneath. And we're going to want to basically just take this one off so it's still the same. We want the other thing to come in right there. And add our other clip underneath there and then drag that top clip with the mask that is currently off. There we go. And honestly, if you want to actually adjust that little picture, you can do that, like make it a little brighter than the rest of the video. You copy and paste this top piece. Um, and then you can adjust this middle layer and you can adjust it to anything because it's the layer underneath. Okay. And we can revert this one back to normal. This cutout that we had is now a little bit brighter. You don't actually have to do that. It's just uh, it's just a thing that I like to do because it just makes it pop a little more. But what we want to do is this continuous motion that we did before. So we're gonna go like this and zooming in and it goes through that. So what we're gonna do is start here. To make it a continuous motion, the scaling kind of gets a little bit whack. So what you're gonna wanna do is completely make this new compound clip, name it whatever you want. I don't name it anything because I'm lazy. And then you're basically just gonna, you're going to press the transform button now, keyframe select, and then go to your end of your clip or wherever you want this thing to zoom in fully. And you're just going to scale this up all the way. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a twist here because I think it will go nicely. I'm not too sure what I did originally. And then you're just gonna zoom this in all the way to where you can't see the borders any longer. And you're gonna go back. And this is where you can kind of adjust and go slower and just move the keyframe so it, it looks better. And then there you go. This next one is just a simple swipe down. That is a very quick rendition. It's obviously not the smoothest looking thing right now. The more time you put into smoothing it out, the better it will look. But that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, and when you color grade it and put some time into actually making these smoother, this was very rushed just to show you what I did. But yeah, thanks guys very much and I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I am sorry, I think it's been... Yeah, it's been five months since I last did a tutorial. I'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently. I wanna actually switch up things on this channel quite a bit to do a lot more commentary things, but you know, I have to actually end up doing that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry that I've been gone, but you know, Sometimes life gets in the way of YouTube. I will see you guys later. Peace out.